Hello and welcome to this video. Today we want to upgrade this Windows 10 on this Inspiron laptop. Um, let me turn the lights on. This uh, Windows 10 on this Inspiron laptop uh, from Windows 10 original that we upgraded from Windows 7. Uh, you know, after we fix, we reset this uh, computer to the factory settings with our OEM Windows 7 disk, and from for which oh a notification. Um, uh, from which for, from, for which we got this awesome exclusive Dell logo in the about section rather than showing Windows 10 it shows Dell. Um, but yeah, so we have we, we got this exclusive Dell logo. Nope. Now I think it's time to update this original build, which is at Windows 10 build uh, version 1511 OS build 10586.494. It's time to update this to the anniversary update. Now there's various way. Oh, two new app updates available in Creative Cloud. Photoshop. Yeah, I guess I'll update for, uh, Premiere Pro and Encoder. Why not, right? Mm, let's see what's new here. Adobe provides important fixes, new supported native QuickTime formats. And yeah, because, oh yeah, that's interesting because in the past, um, uh, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro had a pro uh, asked you to uh, install QuickTime for full optimal performance, but recently Apple said that um, uh, QuickTime is no longer supported on Windows and it's a security risk to keep it installed. So Adobe now provides native support for QuickTime uh, formats. So you don't, you no longer will be nagged about having to run QuickTime, which is amazing. Thank you, finally. All right, so we're gonna update Premiere Pro. Yes. Also, notice the old style user account control. When you update this this uh build to the anniversary update, it won't have the. It'll have a new new style of user account control. Okay. So yeah, we, we so there's two ways to get the uh three ways to get the anniversary update. We're going to look at the secret installer, like the same installer we used. Um. Uh, to update to Windows 10, remember from Windows 7, clicking Windows Update kind of crashed the settings up. So we're gonna do that again. Um, nothing. Windows slash I. Yep, there you go. I'm gonna go to up. Clicking Update is crash crashed the settings up. So even if we wanted to use the regular method, I guess it's not working here. So. We're going to use the special Windows 10 Upgrade Assistant. Remember we tried this before the anniversary came out and after the Windows 10 update says, Congratulations, your PC is up to date. Well, let's see what happens if we ru run the same app. I haven't touched it uh, since then. And see what happens if we run the same app uh, with the uh, now that the anniversary update's out. So, this is a secret installer we got in win back in the days of Windows 7 that's still here. So, let's double click that. Um, let's click yes. Checking for updates. We're checking for the latest version of Windows 10 Update Assistant. This app will automatically restart it up if updates are found. Please wait. This will take a, just a moment or take a moment. It's Microsoft's, there's a support option here. Oh, at first I thought this is like a part of the Microsoft support uh, group. Their own suite of apps, but I guess that's just a link to support. But yeah, so so let's see what happens. We're gonna. I'm going to be back in a bit, okay? So... Oh, so it just closed. It just closed. Now you pressed okay, and it's automatically restarted. Uh, just uh, yeah, updated updated the client. Now the anniversary updates out, and also it's updating these two apps. Let's see which one gets updated first: these two or the anniversary update. I have a feeling this is gonna get updated first, but I may be wrong. So I'm gonna close this for now and say, let's see, Up, update to the latest. Remember, notice that it no longer says upgrade because upgrade. Uh, uh, implies a new version of Windows that you may need to pay for. This is update now. I think w when you're getting it from Windows 7, it should be called Windows 10 Upgrade Assistant. And you should say upgrade to the latest version of Windows. Or now it says update to the latest version of Windows. One of the best features of Windows 10 is that it keeps getting better with every update. This PC is currently not running the latest, m most secure version of Windows 10. This PC is running version 10.5.8.6. The latest version is 14.3.9.3. We can help you get the latest security enhancements and feature improvements 
click update now to get started and more information what happens if I click more information so click that well that loads let's go back to the client what happens do don't update now oh we get a warning are you sure you want to cancel update windows 10 is the best windows ever windows 10 is familiar and free this pc is compatible ongoing updates to this looks like the old same text from before the free upgrade offer, offer was over windows 10 is fast familiar and free it's no longer free anymore it's no longer free uh ongoing updates to help you protect your pc all your files will be left all your files will be where you left them uh cancel update or oh, it says continue update okay let's click continue update we're back to this first screen oh remember we clicked this windows 10 update assistant oh enjoy the celebration get the windows 10 update today when get the windows 10 anniversary update today okay so yeah there's a support article for this to cut keep all windows systems secure and provide the best Features and improvements. The Windows 10 update system will download and start start downloads and starts the setup for Windows 10 anniversary update for version 16.07. Windows 10 update system will be deployed to Windows 10 PCs that 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 have not yet had the latest update installed. No, this tool does not support Enterprise and Education Edition editions. If you're an IT professional looking for information about differing updates, see Windows 10 servicing options. You can run the tool yourself by going to the Windows 10 downloads, uh, software download website and find the instruction on the site for installing Windows 10 version 16.07. So there we go. So I'm click the link to see what shows up. I'm gonna at the same time I'm gonna click update update now. Checking device for compatibility. Please wait. This will just take a moment. And this page is still being loaded in the old version of edge i believe version 25. okay we'll start dialing windows 10 in a moment cpu okay memory okay disk space okay oh i don't have to do anything getting windows update ready downloading windows 10 update uh, no longer is downloading windows 10. downloading windows 10 update please wait percent complete zero this will take a while you could keep working your files will be right where you left them you can choose to start when you update when to update uh when to, you should choose when to start your update it's easy to go back if you don't like it um, same screen we got for the updating to Windows 10 and there's nothing here for those of you who want to know how to get this secret installer I uh, basically go to Google I call it secret because this is there's a temporary installer it's not a it's not the real Windows 10 installer uh, I'll have another I plan to until I have another video showing you how no 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 no, no, no. not Gmail I plan to have a another um, video sh inshallah showing you how to get the official, uh, the actual, the real setup that lets you create, uh, do clean install, upgrade install, format the drive, etc. This is just a secret, uh, single purpose upgrade installer that's different from the rest of Windows 10 setup. So let's see, let's do, um, uh, to get the, uh, the, the secret installer. Now, note that this might be different by the time you're watching it because maybe you're watching it a year from now when there's another update to Windows 10. So, it, this upgrade assistant, if it's still there, will update you to the later version of Windows 10. Or the process of acquiring the update assistant might be different, or my, the update assistant might not be the same at all. It might not be a different. It might be a different client that you need to get. So we don't know. So this is this will only work uh, near the time that I'm recording this. So you try it. If it doesn't work, we're gonna have to find another way. So just do to to get to the update assistant, just type in Windows 10. Uh, version history and then you want to not the Wikipedia to the Microsoft one is 10 version history Microsoft just click that and wait for it to load here you will see the support page load up it says Windows 10 version history see it says when about the Windows 10 anniversary update and all you have to do is click get anniversary update now and you will get the secret installer if you're doing it in the time frame similar to this creation of this video so there you go that's how you get the anniversary update it's still at zero percent it's gonna happen so we'll be back when this is done inshallah see ya but before you go let's see how uh, Adobe is doing with its updates 
yep my intuition was right i think they're gonna these two are gonna finish before the other uh the windows template so yeah all right see you guys we are at 14 percent and counting let's see how far the creative cloud has been going yep it's done i was right We are at verifying download. Just finished downloading. It's not verifying uh, download. Percent complete. 92, 96. Are you going to get there? Ooh, well, nice. Updating. Windows 10, please wait. Getting your update ready. Please. Uh, percent complete. 0%. Wow. So this is fully automated, guys. So it's pretty interesting. The secret update and secret installer for the Windows 10 anniversary update. Say, I'll be back. All right, guys. This is very cool, actually. Um, I just noticed. Uh, no, ignore my OneDrive for a second. I just, you know, by the first of all, let's see. I feel minimize this because away over to the system tray, and you can just click here. Yeah, uh, it's still uh, at 89%. It's been a while. It's been on 86 for so long. I'm glad to even, that it even moved 1%. But here's something cool. <clears throat> if you go to the C drive, there's a new folder. I did not notice this before. Um, uh, Windows 10 upgrade. This this folder only appears if you actually apparently use the secret installer, and you just double click it, and you have. 2052 is this the like the version number of the client i don't know you have dll1 dynamic link library and what, what this is a web store yeah no wd score uh dll2 web services you have dw20 gather os state get current rollback http helper so there's a really Big client. I thought it's just a Windows 10 upgrade app. It's interesting. I didn't see this. That's so cool. So this app is just not a thin client. It's, it is thin client, but it does a lot of handling as well. So it, it looks like it's not even launching the setup user interface. It's just doing everything on its own. You know, it's very cool. Um, I remember uh, when I first did this with the out of on off camera, this automatically did it. Like I ran the upgraded uh, assistant, or uh, yeah, and I went out to pray thoroughly and came back and says the Windows 10 is updating. It's like it went to the rings, ring, uh, the black screen with the ring, and I didn't get to sh see the process. And when I did it with you guys a few days ago, um, the date for a free upgrade has expi had expired. So once it finished downloading, it actually launched the regular setup client. If you remember uh, to ask for a key or give me up an option to reinstall if I had installed it or previously and after that I agreed it went return to this client and it finished the install so this is I get but since uh, for the anniversary update it does not require you to purchase anything it just uh, again doesn't show any standard setup in a user interface it just uses this client itself to handle all the user interface and uh, just uh, information uh, communication with the user uh, so that's very cool so the set updates happening in the background and this client is doing all the communicating with the user that's very cool I'm not I'm pretty impressed Microsoft made a whole special secret client that most people will never use so very nice finally it's doing some updating yep it just it actually failed actually it's stuck at 99% so I have to restart and the second time you had to download again and this time it actually finished and it after it went to 99 it restarted and we are at this blue screen this screen is not it is blue because my accent color is blue whatever you choose your color for your theme for windows this will be the color used and you'll see the standard update screen update screen saying working on working on updates percentage and don't turn off your pc this will take a while your pc will restart several times 49% so I guess you need the anniversary update is on its way well what does it look like it looks like Windows 10 is done welcome to Windows 10 Nasmus Kandiker I am NOT Nasmus Kandiker really okay I wonder what happens if I click that Get going fast. Oh, they'll ask me to create a user account. That's interesting.
let's do express settings use Cortana interesting even though I clicked I'm not in this category <laughs> I've never done that before to see what happens if you click I'm not in this category but yeah this is the Windows anniversary update time to log in even though it's uh, I told them I'm not Nasmus Kataker, it wants me to log in anyway because there's no other user in this computer. So if you're not Nasmus, tough luck, you can't use it. Ha ha ha. We updated your PC. Hi. Getting things ready. Please don't turn off your PC, please. Oh, I said please twice because I felt like it. Let's see what else it says. Look at the bright blue screen. It's going darker and brighter. See, can you notice it on the screen? It's kind of hard, but yeah. I think you notice it. It looks really bright on the screen, but in reality, it's, this is not actually that bright. It's a really nice sky blue. See if you could tell. Let, let me see if I could show you. No, still appears very bright on. Uh, still appears very bright on the camera. It's actually not that bright. These updates help you protect you in an these updates help protect you in an online world. Yep, thank you for letting me know. Will it say let's start? I don't know how long, so I'll pause the video. And you missed the let's start sign because I turned it off and it said let's start. Okay. Thank you for updating to the latest version of Windows 10. Now I'm gonna click exit. I am, alhamdulillah, running the Windows 10 anniversary update. Let's double click that. As you can see, there's a different user account control. Let's click yes. Yes, thank you for downloading the latest version of Windows 10. And you can see the new start menu. Settings app. Let's go to personalize. Let's use a dark mode because I like dark theme. Let's do Themes, no, actually, let's do colors. All the colors are visible. Let's do choose your app mode. I'm going to do dark. Now, as you can see, the settings app is dark. Actually, let's uh, we also need to check the update history. Go here and we'll go update history to see if the anniversary update shows up. No updates have been installed yet. Well, that's a shame. Let's see what happens if I go to recovery. Go back to an earlier build. If this build isn't working for you, try going back into an earlier one. Let's see what happens if I click it. This is to uninstall the anniversary update. Getting things ready. This won't take long. Why are you going back? My apps don't work on this build, blah blah blah. There's reason for other reason. Earlier builds seem more builds seem better, they seem more reliable. Cool. If you're up for troubleshooting, contact support. Cool, so there you go. Oh, what happens if we click contact support? Do you, do you get the contact app? Uh contact support app or do you get the website? Let's find out. you get the awesome contact support app nice let's close that there you go you could chat call me back schedule a call ask the community awesome well thank you guys this has been the windows 10 anniversary update let's do a windware and you can see it's windows 10 build 1607 I want to send version 6 and 7, build 14393.10.